one. Um, so I'm back with week 42, and this is part one. So I'm obviously using the back of the pocket page that's got the four six by sixes. And I did struggle a little bit with this one because I didn't quite have the same sort of cut pass as my previous layout. So I always think using blank paper, obviously it's not blank, it's orange, but, you know, non-patterned paper, I always feel it looks a bit empty um, until I do the journaling. So it does look a lot better with the journaling on, um, but it does look a bit blank, I think, um, when it's just sort of plain. I don't know. But then sometimes if you've got pattern paper, it looks a bit busy. So I don't think you can get like a happy medium. But as I said, with the writing, it does look much better. So anyway, I'm just using plain orange paper for this background for this week. Um, because the colours and obviously there's lots of stickers and things for this collection. So I just felt like it would it would clash too much, I think, if I was to use pattern paper. So I'm just going to use some washi tape, obviously, to jazz things up a little bit. But uh, the week... This week, sorry, I'm using the Halloween Magic Collection by Echo Park. And I think it's 2022, maybe? I think it was last year's. Um, but it's really cute. Um, it's got lovely colours, like the green and the purple together. And I like to use my Halloween collections for the month of Halloween. No, nope, month of October um, for Halloween sort of thing. Because it just makes me use them, really. Um, as I said before, I don't really do too much. So it's an excuse to get through them. Um, so I'm just going to use some of the broader strips as well um, to jazz up the page a little bit. So the first two photos, they're just of um, our tea on Sunday. So Joe decided to make a Sunday roast, which was really lovely. We don't tend to make it because we're not very good at um, timings. Um, we're getting better and much better. Um, so it's just quite a, quite a lot of work for two people. Um, it tends to be like a group thing um, for a Sunday roast or you go out for a Sunday roast. Um, but for two people, it's quite um, it's quite a lot of work. So we don't tend to do it very often. Um, but we did do it this time and it was really nice. It was uh, well worth the effort and maybe we should do a bit more. So I'm just going to put some stickers around, little bats and the moon and stars. And obviously I'm going to put some journaling on there. So you'll see those hopefully in the photos at the end I've not been very good with keeping up my journaling recently um they are pretty much up to date now um but it took me a couple of weeks back um with being busy and illnesses and stuff like that it's just um I've not sort of put my head in the game basically I've just been a bit behind but um once they are done they are done so hopefully I get this week's done pretty soon so again I'm just going to use orange paper on the back of this white one um and it just makes it look a bit more what's the word I could have stuck it with white but I always feel like white looks unfinished so um, I always try and cover it up as much as I can so for the second part second pocket page um, I actually was on a course um, for work on Monday and I was supposed to go Tuesday however I couldn't go Tuesday I was just so unwell um, but I did get myself out of bed and I would went on Monday and it was really nice. There was a load of people on the at, on the course that I'd like emailed and spoke to over the phone, but I've never met in person. So that was quite nice to be able to actually meet them. Um, so that was nice. So it was a bit of a different day at work. Um, you know, meeting new people and you know, doing things. So that was quite fun. So um, part of the course, it was really interesting actually. I'm glad that I missed the second day, but I'm going back on it. So I will get to do it. But part of the course was called this insights. And we had to, um, out of five statements, you picked which one was the most like you and the least like you. And then you'd answered about 20, 20 questions of those. And it produced this like two page essay on you, basically. It tells you everything about you, what, you, what, sort, what sort of person you are at work um, and how you feel things and how you understand things. And it's really like spot on, really. It's a bit scary, actually. Um, it feels like I've written it myself. Uh, there was a few bits and pieces that, you know, maybe wasn't quite so strong, but we did another exercise where you sort of added up, divided by two and all that. And it, it told you how, how, um, what's the word? how much it was like you and mine was 97% basically. So yeah, really, really interesting. I'm actually going to photocopy it and put it in my album because it's really, I really want to keep it. Um, it. Honestly, it makes me feel much better about myself that, you know, it's okay. It's okay to be, have certain att attributes and, you know, 
just be the way I am, basically. And I'm not as abnormal as I think I am in terms of how I think. Anyway, so these blocks uh, describe how you are as people. So you're either more green, more blue, yellow or red. And um, I'm more green and blue. So I'm very much like show me your show me you care and give me details, basically. Whereas like red and red's a bit more directive and yellow is very um, almost like confidence and imaginative and stuff. So um, my two colours were green and blue um, mainly. So again, that was really interesting. So I took a picture of those blocks and I wanted to have those in there. So that is what those blocks are. And then, as I said, on the Tuesday, I was supposed to go again to this course, but I was just so ill. Um, I really tried to get on with this illness and just try to keep up a normal life. But it really knocked me out on the Tuesday. I woke up with a really bad headache. My sinuses were killing me. My whole face felt really swollen. Um, and I just needed to sleep, I think. So um, I actually ran in sick, which I don't really do. I think I've been sick in my current job. I think in six years, seven years that I've been there, I think I've ran in sick twice. Um, one was when, you know, due to mental health, actually a couple of years back when everything went wrong with my family. Um, and then the second time was when I again had flu. So I don't, calling sick very often so for me that's a big thing um to have to call in sick I was only sick for a day and then I was on a day off and then I went back to work the following day so it was only one day but I just really needed that day to sort of um get to grips with myself basically and get to sleep and you know just get better I actually stayed in bed all day which is not like me at all I'm normally very up and about and have to be productive and have to do something so yeah it wasn't like me at all to um be in bed all day so that's when you know I'm ill <laughs> um so yes yeah, so I just got a picture of me and Moose in bed um and I'm just going to put some stickers around it all um one says like spooky uh sweet but spooky and stuff like that so yeah it's really cute little stickers then the title card I'm going to use this really cute um one with a little cat and pumpkins and stuff on there I just thought that was absolutely adorable and I love the little Hall happy Halloween uh, banners at the top so I'm just going to stick those down and I'm going to use the border border strips again to um, put it along. I thought that this would match up because I thought that border strip was 12 by 12, but it must be ever so slightly short. So I do have that annoying gap at the end, but I'm just going to use a pumpkin um, to fill that gap um, on there. And then I'm just going to get some of my alphas and um, no, I actually used stamps this time. I had some stamps left out because I was doing my Estonia album and I've been using these stamps. So I thought I'd use those. And then I just used some numbers um, that I did have left over to put, obviously, week 42. So, yeah, very sort of chilled week uh, this week. As I said, I wasn't very well, so I tried to do as minimal as I could, really. Um, but, it, it, you know, I still struggle very much with being unproductive. I very much have to be doing something, otherwise I feel like I've not done anything. Um, so, yeah, I probably could have done with going sick earlier really um and just trying to get better as soon as possible rather than um trying to beat myself through it and trying to you know force myself I probably made myself iller to be honest but you live and learn so I'm just going to stamp on there you know the word sick um on the photo that obviously I wasn't very well um so obviously just to put on there that I was ill that week it's not something you really want to <laughs> remember but um it's one of the things as I said project life is I've always wanted to be trying quite honest with my project life you know it's not all sunshine and rainbow sometimes you have really bad weeks and I've always tried to document when I'm having a bad week um you know sometimes I go through a phase of having a really bad mental health week and I still want to document those because it is perfectly fine um to have off days you know you don't have to beat yourself up about it um, so I do want to document the the good, the bad and the ugly in this album because otherwise it gives you just um, a perspective that everything's fine and dandy all the time, which is not always. So, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this part. Um, it's quite dark, this one. Um, it's probably not my favourite layout, but as I said, it's one of those ones where I got to use a different collection um, and I do struggle sometimes with these six by sixes um i'm deciding what pocket pages i want to order for my 2024 album i'm tempted to get ones that are all the same maybe i don't know um i'm waiting till the end of october to order it really and i'm going to decide what i'm going to do then um but 
I still want to carry it on and I still definitely want to do Project Life. So I'll be ordering my one for 2024. Thank you very much. Bye.